Do you want to live a strong and active life when you're in your 70s and 80s and 90s? We need to have you work on your VO2 max now. Hey guys, this is Coach Becky at Life Sport Fitness and I'm back, as I promised I would be, with video number one on the five things, the five areas that we wanna work on as people in our 40s, 50s, and 60s to make sure that our 70s, 80s, and 90s are fit, healthy, strong, and independent, yeah? So today we're talking all about VO2 max. And VO2 max is, in simple terms, how hard can your heart, or how well can your heart pump oxygen and blood throughout your body, and how well do your muscles take it up? So think of it as the max your heart lung system can work for you. And you can improve it. So there's a little genetics in there, but there are ways to improve your max VO2. And we know from statistics that people with the highest max VO2 live the longest. So let's talk about how we improve our max VO2. We want to do high intensity interval training. Some people call it sprint training. We don't have to do it often. Research shows one to two times a week, believe it or not, is actually adequate and that the intensity at which you work is the key point. Now, speaking of intensity, if you've never done high intensity interval training before, it's best to talk with your doctor to make sure that your health is in good condition and good enough condition in order to do high intensity interval training. So always talk with your healthcare provider before trying something new. So here at our studio at Life Sport Fitness, we do personal fitness training and we do a, a session or a segment of high intensity interval training towards the end of each appointment if people want to do it. For instance, this week we're running 35 seconds of work, 15 seconds of recovery. That's one round and we're doing eight rounds. Now we've kind of arbitrarily chosen a high knee run and a, what's called a bench burpee. They're just things that are hard to do. You can't do them for very long. In some cases, we have clients who don't want to jump due to back or knee issues or whatnot. So we give them all sorts of different exercises. These are just suggestions, but we always make it body friendly. And next week, it'll be something different. The week after that, different work rest ratio and different number of repetitions of, of rounds. So for you in a gym, you could do the treadmill. You could do the stationary bike. You could do a rower. You could do the elliptical. You could go out onto a high school track and sprint the long side of the track, recover on the curve. So you're not using time, you're using distance. Lots of different ways to do high intensity interval training. The number one key, as I mentioned before, is intensity. So try it for one or two times a week and see how it goes. Add it into your repertoire of what you do when you're working out during a week or how you structure your workouts. My suggestion is if you strength train, after you strength train, bang out four, eight, 10 minutes of high intensity interval training. You're already warmed up, right? And you may be at the gym or you may be in your garage, just do that exercise there. So number one, or one of the five things you can do to improve your longevity and your health span is to improve your VO2 max. We do that by working near max in a pattern like this or many other patterns once or twice a week. So get after it, talk to your doc first, and then let's try some high intensity interval training. If you wanna to talk to me a little bit more about HIT or how we do it here, or whether you're a good fit for our program here, slide me a private message here on this social media. I'm happy to talk to you. All right, until next time, when I come back with video two, I'll see you later.